West Warwick parents, they're concerned about a homeless camp near a playground. That's right. NBC 10's Tebby Topa Adelaide found the tents appeared after the town rejected a proposal to add more low-income housing. This homeless encampment behind Flat Top Playground in West Warwick is raising a few red flags for parents like Michael Cody, who has a few young children. I don't know the people that are there. I don't know what the exact details are, but, you know, I just I feel like the the safety of the kids that go to that playground um, should be number one. That's around the time the West Warwick officials rejected a proposal to convert the Ocean State Furniture Building on Washington Street into 38 apartments for the homeless. Instead of doing something good and beneficial for the entire state, um, they were selfish. And instead of you know helping out, this was, this was what ended up happening is because these people have nowhere to go. So The Rhode Island Homeless Advocacy Project echoes that criticism. That's the problem that we have, that it's always let someone else do it. But we're not going to solve this problem unless every Rhode Islander commits to helping to solve it. And West Warwick's town manager, Mark Knott, answered my questions by email, saying the West Warwick Housing Authority facilities are full and have waiting lists. And he believes hotel vouchers are no longer available, which can add to the encampment issue. Knott says they are working with local agencies to provide resources and guidance to the unhoused so they can find appropriate shelter and care. But he believes it's a federal and state problem and not just the towns. As always, the homeless advocates are looking for a long-term solution. Not says with no trespass order under current law and concerns that moving encampments could become issues for private property owners, it seems the encampment will remain for now. Tell me talk about Alea, NBC 10 News.